so you've been working as a car salesman for 18 years. Mm -hmm. What have you learned? First thing, you want to learn something, you want to sell a car to somebody, ask them a question and shut up. And they'll tell you everything about the relationship, everything about what's going on, sometimes too much information. And you're just going on with Hi, I'm Karen, the host of Love Encore, and I'm here with the infamous Jerry McDuffie. That's me. Ex car salesman extraordinaire, and today we're going to be talking about relationships and car sales. When a couple walks into the car dealership, can you tell right away if there's any kind of uh, marital problems going on? Are you able yes. to read that? Absolutely. <laughs> and what are the, the, the signs or the tells that, that... Well, hello is the first thing. When you get the hello out, you kind of see the reaction for both of us. And that is, what are we looking at today? Is it new or used? And that that little interaction between the two of them, that's letting you know exactly where this deal's going. Oh, really? Yes, yes. So sometimes we've had an <laughs> argument before we got here, and we don't want this vehicle, and we want this one, and now it's a fight before you even meet me. Oh, what do you do? Do you kind of stay out of it, or do you, oh, you no, no, get you, right I, in there with it? No, no, no. I stay out of it for a minute and see uh, who's the uh, dominant force in it, and then start talking to that person. Um, so the first thing you want to do is hone in on who's the hone boss. Hone in on who's the boss, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And so have you seen any knockout, drag-out fights between oh, couples? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. What kind of things? I, I've, been, I've been in the middle of a divorce. What? Yes. And oh. the car was part of the divorce. And she wanted a car with the leather and the sunroof and this and that. And he was like, no, that's not going to happen. So I leave the transaction, go to the desk. And they're like, Jerry, you're handling it. Why are you taking so long? And I tell them that story. And they're like, no, they don't want to get up and help me. They're like, Jerry, you'll figure it out, which I did. And what did you and figure out? And he actually ended up winning. So she got a car. It just didn't have all the items she wanted on it. So it was part of the divorce proceedings that she of, got a car? She got a car, yes. So whatever the fine print was, he won it. He had a better attorney. Oh, really? Yeah, so you got to kind of roll with the punch. And so you got to have a little bit of a legal background, too. A little bit. I have to be their finance director, their marriage oh. counselor. So what kind of marriage counseling have you done? Oh, man. First thing is, when they go to the bathroom and you get that moment, you'll ask, do we know if this is just going to be one more kid or one kid? You never, ever ask that with both parties. Okay, so what is happening? What happens right you made there. that mistake before. I have made that mistake one time in a career. He was a cop, she was a nurse, your usual combination. He's rocking the baby in his arms. They're buying a vehicle, can carry five. And I say, oh, how many more are you going to have? And he says, oh, two or three. And she stops writing. <laughs> Excuse me? And I said, did you know that? And she says, no. I go, well, darling, keep writing. <laughs> okay. For the record, I haven't seen them since. So oh, I have not done that since. Okay. So have any, any of your clients had any kind of fisticuffs or? <laughs> no, no, it hasn't been that crazy. It hasn't been that crazy. It hasn't been that crazy, but they have walked in and like me and you walk in and they'll sit down with me and I'm like, hey, hey, how you doing, Jerry? And like you'll leave for a second or go to look at the car. They'll look at me real fast and say, you know, that's not Karen, right? Yes, I understand. Oh. Yes. So we have a little different situation. Okay, so that, that's a situation where someone's not really bringing in their, their wife. Their <laughs> They're wife, bringing in somebody else. Somebody else. Oh, oh that yeah. can get really dicey. That can really, really dicey. So I stay out of that. And well, how do you stay out of it? Uh, that's not my business. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. So you just say, hey. My job description yeah. says sell these cars and make these people happy. Okay. Absolutely, yeah. All right, so you get this guy in there. He's got someone else, and it's not his wife. Right. And you actually seen them buy cars? Buy for? cars, absolutely, yes. It happened pretty often? Yes, it happens more than you would think. Really? Valentine's Day was a great day. Oh. Uh, <laughs> they say they were married, and uh, the car was red, and it was on Valentine's Day. He signs up the whole thing. They're on their way. God bless. Wow. They're happy. I'm happy. Everyone's happy. Everyone's happy, Everyone's except happy. The, when the ex-wife finds out. I about have it. no idea. <laughs> or the, I shouldn't say the ex-wife, except when the soon-to-be ex-wife finds oh, out about it. That's alleged. That's alleged. That's alleged. <laughs> yes. You plead the fifth on that plead one. Plead the fifth and the sixth. This has been a lot of fun. <laughs> Very entertaining. We are learn. We learned a lot about the car salesman business. Yes. And about relationships in general. Yes. And about the need to listen to people. Yes. Thanks for coming on the show, Thank Jerry. Thank you. No problem. And if you want to reach Jerry McDuffie, his contact information will be on the, uh, in the description box below here on YouTube. Keep buying cars. Keep buying them. I'll be there.